Welcome to this video guide on installing the SQL Server Database Monitor. In this video we're going to show you how to monitor Microsoft SQL Servers which are hosted within a VMware ESX server environment. Now what we mean by that is that if your SQL Servers are hosted as virtual appliances on an ESX server, well then this video is for you. So during the video we're going to show you how to install a virtual machine which you can use to monitor your SQL Servers. Now if you haven't done so already, please go to www.sqlserverdatabasemonitor.com where you can download an OVA file. And that's the file we'll use to build a virtual machine. So let's take a look at doing that right now. Okay, I've just downloaded the OVA file, so I'm going to load up my VMware management console here. And I'm going to log on. Now, when it's logging on, we do need to assign the SQL Server monitoring system a fixed IP address. So if you can get a fixed IP address, we'll assign that later on in the install. So I'm going to select my ESX server over here, go to File, select Deploy OVF Template. I then browse to wherever I stored my OVA file that I downloaded, open that, click Next, then give the device a name. Select a disk where you want to store this device. So I'm picking the main storage disk on this ESX server. Just click on Next and then Finish. So the system is now being deployed. So in the next phase of the installation, we're going to assign fixed IP address to the Microsoft SQL monitoring system. So it just takes a couple of sec seconds to deploy. It's quite a quick and fast installation. So once it's done and it's been deployed, we need to power it up and then we're going to assign it a fixed IP address. So that's been deployed successfully. So then we go to the left hand here, we select the virtual machine and we power it on. We then click on the console and we watch the system boot up. Now it doesn't run Windows, you're not going to see Windows booting up here. You will get some messages, some devices being mounted, some network card information. But you need to wait until you get a menu system. So you'll see lots and lots of messages flashing by and you just need to let it run until you get a menu system. There's eight items in the menu, so leave the console until you see that menu. Okay, so the menu system has appeared. So the first thing you need to do is just click the mouse within the console in here. And I need to select some of these options from the menu. So the first thing I need to do is select option 5, and I need to assign an IP address to this virtual machine. Then set the netmask, which is fine. And then I need to set the default gateway, so choose option 6. And that's it done. So if you press Control all it just gets you out of that console. Then go to a browser and HTTPS to the IP address you've just assigned. So I've assigned it that 153. So I select that. Now you may get um, an error message about certificates. So if you just acknowledge that and continue. And the username is administrator. And the password is also administrator with a capital A. So that's administrator and administrator capital A. And that's it now logged on. So the reports are available here on the left hand side. And we've got pre-configured dashboards here towards the middle. Now you should start to see data appear in these reports of Microsoft SQL database activity should start to appear within certainly within five to ten minutes. If it doesn't appear here, We'll then revisit the video about setting up the virtual switch so that the virtual monitoring system is able to pick up the traffic to and from the users. So that's your SQL Server database monitor up and running. Now if you have any questions about the install, if you're not getting data, please go to www.sqlserverdatabasemonitor.com 
where there is a chat application on the homepage and we have a support person standing by to any que any answer questions you may have. Alternatively, if you email sales at networktechnologies.com, just give a description of what is happening and we will get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you.